Hey guys, Jay here from Storage Rack Solutions. Thanks again for buying your rack in the box. And this video is going to show you what should be in the box and then also how to go about assembling it as easy as possible. I'm going to give you some tips after the fact too once the rack is assembled. Okay, so inside uh, your baggie, you've obviously found the little piece of paper with the link. And uh, this is what it should be inside of the box when you receive it is two uh, backers left and right, your bottom feet, there's two of them there, your middle uh, arm, and your top arm. The two feet at the bottom of the rack, and also uh, the little pad slips that slide onto the arms for padding, and your little bag that has the rope and the screws for attaching things, okay? So let's move over here. I've got an assembly table, and if you work off a flat surface, it's gonna be much easier uh, to put this together. Okay, so a picnic table or a flat bench or uh, even on the floor. So there's two sides to this rack. There's the left and the right side. So I've got uh, this side all set up to go and this is the side that's the A, B, C, D, E side and the other side is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Now, what that means is locate, let's start with the A's, okay? Locate right on the back, A, okay? So we're gonna take A, we're gonna lay it down flat like this, and you see how there's a little gap underneath here, okay? B is gonna be right here, your bottom leg, B. Next one up is C, D, and your foot is E. All you need to do is line up the letter with the letter on the backer, okay? So I don't know if you can see that there, right here, B. There's E for the foot, C and D, okay? So we've got all our pieces here. Now, we're just gonna slide that under and we're gonna put the B right against the B. Just like that, okay? Let's bring in C and bring C right up tight to C. This little support is gonna tell you exactly how that should snug right in there. See, nice and flush there. Nice and flush there, and flush against the back. So when we tighten all this up, it'll snug itself right in, okay? So that's what the rack's gonna look like, and then we just have to put the foot on after. So let's open up our little hardware bag. Got our screws. Okay, in here, you got two different size screws. So you've got a one and a half inch, Oh, sorry, a two and a half inch and a one and a half, okay? The longer ones are going to go straight through the back into these arms. There, 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 and right here in the ends. Can you see that hole down there? Everything's pre-drilled, so you're just gonna find the little pre-drilled holes and that's what we're gonna fill. Now the shorter guys, these little guys, are going down through the arms this way. Four here, two up here, and four down here. You'll know if you do, by mistake, do something wrong. If you imagine if you put that through there, it's gonna come poking out the other side, okay? So just take your time and make sure you pick the right screw, okay? So small ones, there's gonna be 30 of those, and there's gonna be 18 of these. Now, this is important. Some of our uh, customers from the United States maybe have never seen this style of bit. Can you see that? It's a square bit. You can get this at your hardware store. It's a number two Robinson bit square bit, number two. And that fits and locks in there really nicely. See? Okay? So just find one of those. If you don't have one, just hardware store. I'll have those for you. Okay, so let's do this. Bottom leg. Here we go. So we're going to start at the back first. Screw in, it's all pre-drilled, you can see. Now, I'm gonna hold on to this arm nice and tight, make sure the bottom's lined up, and with some good force, see how that's nice and snug? Let's do that with all those. Perfect. And that, you see how nice and tight that is now. Okay. Now, just while we're down here at the bottom, let's do the small guys. Here's the little small guys here. You'll feel it grab. The nice thing with this material is that screw will grab right in and just pull nice and tight. 
See that? Easy. Gotta have a decent little cordless drill or a corded drill, works the best. I like these because they're a little more portable. Okay, let's move up to the next arm. Get that screw ready, make sure everything's nice and flush everywhere. Hold that arm nice and tight and put a little force into it. There we go. Beautiful. And the little guys. Okay, last one. That's nice and flush again. There we go. See that? You don't want it sitting on a weird angle like that. You just get that nice and flush. Hold it nice and tight. Beautiful. Okay, two more. One. And two. Okay. Now, let's take this, so we got the arms all attached, let's take this and just put it up on its side. Now the reason for this is we want to do this guy right here. You see that one? And then we're using the long ones on that. There, that'll give some nice support to that arm. Again, hold, hold that arm nice and tight, a little bit of force. There we go, nice and tight. And also make sure that everything's lined up. There we go. Okay. Now, last part of this is the foot E, and you can find E right there. So again, we're gonna match the E to the E. Okay, so let's stand this up. So there's the E, and there's the E. So let's slip that through. Slide that on. Spin that around for you. There, so that sits just like that, okay? Now, now we need to again take the little short guys. There's four of them. Get one started. Again, hold that nice and tight. Okay. Now, make sure it sucks it in nice and tight there. So that's one side. So now that was the A, B, C, D, E. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the workbench or table uh, with one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's it. All set up. Now, also, you're going to have six of these little pads. Um, my recommendation is that if you're putting like a paddleboard or a kayak, these are great. There's something we can get at like a dollar type store. Um, it's great for us in shipping as well. It offers a little bit of padding in the box. Uh, easily replaced by you guys in the future. We just run a slit in there. You can see, so it's real easy to slide these on. All right, look at that. It's perfect. Perfect for padding. Okay. Now, again, on these racks, uh, like we've said in our other video, down here is kind of an ideal space for a canoe, although you could put a paddleboard, even stack two paddleboards down here, or a kayak. This uh, space is a little bit smaller, so again, ideal for a kayak in here or a paddleboard. A canoe is not going to fit in this spot. Up top, um, if you have the rack far enough apart, a canoe could sit up here, but again, ideal, ideally for uh, paddleboards or kayaks up top. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it. Not too, not too hard. Uh, a couple little things. Uh, once you have it all uh, set up, you've got your craft sitting on here, it is our recommendation that you use these tether ropes to secure your crafts. Now, 
we can't be responsible for Mother Nature, and sometimes we get some good strong winds, and that could cause the whole unit to tip over in a, in a blast of wind. Or if you say if you had a paddleboard up top and the wind caught it, it could fly right off and damage the board. So it's it's good to get in the habit of tethering your boats on. So this rope, very strong rope. I'm going to show you here. I'm just tying a little loop knot in the end there. Okay. And we can go right around here. Like that. Okay. And now picture going right over top of our, say, our paddleboard, right down around our kayak, right down to the bottom of the rack. Down at the bottom here, you can see there's a hole. And you can use that as a quick tie-off point. Something like that, you can imagine. I mean, that that's just offering a little bit more security. Now, the other thing, too, that I want to mention is that these are freestanding units. Uh, they're very lightweight, and we can move them to wherever we want, which is, the, is very convenient. And that's why a lot of people have bought these from us, is the ease of ability to take them from the dock into the boathouse or the garage for the winter. Uh, it's not a permanent structure that's attached. Now, a permanent structure is going to offer even more stability, uh, but they're big, bulky, and can't be moved. So uh, my suggestion is if this is going on a dock and you're worried about wind gusts, um, is to attach this to the dock with a simple little L bracket. You guys all have seen those before. Just a little L shape. You can mount one right here. Little L shape. Screw that onto there and then onto the dock. And you could also do the same off the foot as well on each side. That would create a huge amount of stability and uh, offer a lot more security to your, to your boats. And at the end of the season, you know, one screw here, here, and here, and you could take this and, and move it into, in, inside. So again, little tips, little pointers to try to make this even more sturdy uh, in, in strong wind conditions. Also too, these are freestanding units and they're spread uh, apart depending on the length of your crafts. Another thing you could do is if you want more stability between the two units is you could mount uh, a simple uh, two by four between the two units to create even more stability if you're worried about wind in your area. But that's it. And one last little quick story about this plastic. Make yourself feel good about buying this product. Uh, this is a local uh, manufacturer who does these boards for us. And this is actually recycled uh, plastic and it's post-consumer waste plastic that, 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 that is bought off a recycling plant. So the recycled plastic that uh, would normally uh, be waste material going to a landfill is recycled and then brought, dyed, and made into these boards. So they are a little rustic. You'll see little flecks of different color in it. And a lot of this comes from recycled boat wrap, uh, barn bale wrap for wrapping uh, 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 bales of hay, uh, and post-consumer waste. So. It's great to be able to reuse this and, and get a long, long life. This thing will probably outlive you. So uh, anyway, we're doing our part. And uh, again, thanks a lot for buying the Rack in the Box. Any questions, you know you can get a hold of us anytime. Email or, or give us a call. Okay, thanks again.